All right, so now the next step, we want to load that 100,000 fake contacts into our Salesforce. So to do that, we are going to use the data loader. Let me bring up my data loader. We have discussed this on the previous trail, which is data management. So if you forgot how to use a data loader, how to log in and stuff, um, revisit that course or that video on import data okay remember that so to do that let's open up data loader that's my data loader here and i am going to log in i'm going to insert data right so i'm going to hit insert data here and i'm going to log into production but then you have to know your username and the password. On the previous course on the data export and import, I showed you how to reset your password. So I'm just going to log in and grab my username. I'm going to go here, pop up my hands on orgs on a new tab because it's a long username on my trailhead and I'm not really sure what the username is. Where do we go to get the username? Do you remember? We go to always set up and then users. Users. You have users here. And I'm going to copy my username, which is Jimmy here. So this is my username. I'm going to copy that back to my data loader here. And I'm going to paste my username. And take that out. I think I remember my password. I hope. And login. Oh, wrong one try this one. Oh no what is my password hmm. ah it works so I'm going to allow it so I'm actually logged in right so I'm logged in and we are going to import 100,000 contacts all right so if i go here and go to my current contacts in salesforce we only have i don't know how much is loaded by trailhead but if i change this to all contacts here we have only 43 items that's not so much to report on right we can report on 43 people so we are going to load 100,000 all right so let's go ahead next we are going to load the contact object there and i'm going to browse um where did we save it on i think here right yep I'm going to use that and hit next. So please go ahead. Um, I, I was saying, please go ahead and follow me along on this course and on the previous course when I was creating uh, fields on the contact object and when I was creating a new object called vehicle. Please do that on your trailhead playground so you can follow me along you have to do this stuff if you're just watching and you expect that you will remember everything well you won't you won't remember you have to use it or lose it so even at the end of the trail i encourage you to practice and it, it's it's even more perfect if you are already working in a salesforce organization I mean an organization that uses salesforce so you can practice it every day right because if you're just watching this for one time 
or even two times and you expect to remember everything well forget about it you won't remember everything you have to actually do things over and 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 over again to actually remember the steps like an expert okay so you have to follow me along don't just watch this so your operation will contain 100,000 records awesome that we can report on so now we have to map the field okay so we are going to create or edit the map and map the fields we have here from the data we are going to map it with our Salesforce fields so create or edit a map and hit the auto match fields to columns oh we got nothing matching that's pretty lame <laughs> so we have to drag stuff okay so birthday we have birth date here, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to drag this guy here. There. We have blood type. We have blood type here. Okay. And with Salesforce, you have to be patient with things. When learning, especially, you can't just rush, rush, rush. Well, you won't retain or remember anything if you just want to, you know, go through and just finish everything. What's the point? You have to learn and understand and retain the knowledge so you know how to do things on a different situation right this is just an example this what we're doing here is all fake it's all just for a demo so you see how, how things done all right so city we should have a city here or it's probably an address right hmm. mailing city there I'm gonna put mailing city well, I don't need I don't need color come country sure mailing country put it there country full we don't need that email address we have email here pretty sure whoopsie what did I do um oh come on I want to drag the email so you drag it right you drag it like that yeah now where did the email go or oh, email address here okay so feet inches so feet inches is height right i think i height inches right oh height hmm. feet inches that's weird height oh yeah we have to split that um okay i'm, I'm gonna skip this for now because i'm not gonna waste your time um, we'll just skip the height for now okay gender because there's two two columns remember you have here i'll show you why i skipped that because there is actually feet and inches remember on the previous video um here feet and inches see how many feet how many inches i have to split this into two columns here and then load that into there so we can update that later okay so don't worry about it we're going to skip this for now we have gender here gender um, gender c a custom field given name is first name right first name there latitude longitude um uh, do we have latitude longitude here i don't think so so we're not going to use that as well middle name set mm, no we're not going to use that for now password pounds is weight right weight their weight their state of course mailing state we want to report on that mailing state there and then street address mailing street there and then surname is last name all right last name like your last name my last name surname telephone number it's phone phone I'm just gonna use the, the title title username zip zip is zip uh, postal code or postal code here zip zip uh, vehicle oh it's another object okay we can I can import that at the second step um, for reporting so now that's it I think um uh, yeah let's double check 
So it's on map, the one that we want to play with. H, we don't need to because we are going to use a formula, which I'm going to show you, okay? So I'm going to hit OK and Next. Uh, where it will be safe, errors, and, and successes. It will go to my downloads folder. And you hit Finish, all right? And then you have chosen to insert a, a new uh, new records. Click yes to begin. So this will load 100,000 contacts. How long would you think that will take? A long time. All right. So I'm going to hit yes. Look at that. So it's loading 50 at a time. Usually it's 200 at a time, but I was reducing it to 50 because I was working on something and I don't want to trip. Um, the processes or the triggers so I was reducing it so this will go for a long time so you have to be patient well if you are doing this on your own on your own trailhead just leave your computer maybe a couple hours I would think right so then you go back when it's done we will have a hundred thousand records even here when I refresh this guy here refresh here we have 43 right right now Right now it's loading. Now if I refresh, bada bing, bada boom, fifty plus items. So it's go, it's loading just fine, right? So if I, yeah, it's just it's just gonna keep loading because we're actually loading one hundred thousand. Look at all this fake data. It even have emails. Um, not sure if it's a real email. We're not gonna send any email. We're just gonna do this for reporting. Okay, it looks real. They're just going to make up all the name maybe. I'm not sure. So we're going to load this and it's going to take at least, a, maybe not a couple hours, maybe one hour. It's 3,000 uh, records right now. So I'm not going to wait here with you, but please follow along. Do your mapping, do your import, and you have to practice. You have to practice, practice, practice. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it a thousand times, okay? And I'll see you on the next video where the data loaded is data is loaded completely. And then I'm going to update the feet inches here. All right. Um, or not. <laughs> I'm not going to spend too much time. Uh, I just want to go to the reporting. I, don't, I'm, I think I'm going to skip this. Okay. Otherwise, we will just making a whole video for just data import again we are going to focus on reporting not data import so i'm, gonna, I'm not going to report on fit inches just forget about this okay so we are going to do report on other things and when your loading is done okay i missed that you saw the video right when it's hitting 3900 records you see it's getting errors right on the video just like a few seconds ago we actually hit a limit on the trailhead playground we can only have ten, uh, 5 megabyte and we already we already using 10 megabyte so when you are following me along you will see the same error so we're we're just going to deal with 3900 records so if i show you we have the error here which which says here storage limit exceeded as 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 long as it's hit 3900 it says storage limit exceeded so i i go ahead and go to my setup and type storage here storage usage and i see oh we're passing we, we're just only given five megabyte to play with well that makes sense this is a playground right we cannot load 100,000 records otherwise people are going to use the playground to run real businesses right so 100,000 is too much we have 3,900 records which I checked there which is pretty good for us to play around so we are just going to play around 3,900 records so when you're doing your data import and you hit and you see that 3,900 records loaded and you you start to see errors just hit cancel when you hit cancel the data is already loaded 3900 records and that's good enough for us to start playing with reports all right so i'll see you on the next video